I'm wishing you a happy new year 2011 and if you're watching me anywhere in the world or anywhere in the United States you may think it's no big deal that there's snow uh, behind me but I've lived in California Southern California for several decades and there has never been any snow and I, I kind of want to go through that again there's never been any snow in this in the Southern California area except up at Lake Arrowhead or Big Bear or places like that and the thing that you have to realize is this has never happened before in decades I mean not even the, the, the filmiest of snow so the fact that we have a huge amount of snow and it's just begun uh, is totally unique now I woke up this morning and I I just happened to glance out the window about an hour after I got up and my mind was blown because everybody in our household has never seen snow in Southern California and the Lord spoke to me immediately and he said he said Paul uh, this is a new season 2011 is a new season and he meant more than 2011 uh, and beyond. He said it's a new season unlike any other season you've been in. So he said this is a completely different season unlike any other season you've ever been in. And that was meant to me that we are entering an era, that's you and me, wherever you're watching across the world, we're entering an era that we've never entered into before on planet earth this is totally unique not just the fact that it's snowing i don't think it's snowed here in, in, in decades but this is symbolic of the changes that are happening in our world now what makes this very interesting is is that what the lord said to me uh, is very much in conjunction with the research that i've been doing economically and politically and how we are as a, a global society we've entered a time unlike any other time and I think that's pretty evident to most of you uh, as you see what's happening in your nation economically and we have articles for you by the way at paulmcguire.org but I believe the Lord spoke this to my heart because he wants to prepare his people for a time like no other time now as a teacher and writer on Bible prophecy, that would mean the last days. Of course, the Apostle Paul said the last days began in his era. So the last days have been going on for around 2,000 years plus. But I believe on the prophetic timeline, we are moving towards the time of the Lord's return. And even if the Lord's return is longer than we think it would be, the point is, it's coming soon. When I say soon, I'm, I'm not giving a, a particular date. And I also want to emphasize that I plan long term, because nobody knows the day or the hour. I was listening to this, uh, I'm, I'm refraining from calling him what I really think he is. Uh, this is like the fourth book he's written predicting Christ's return uh, to the day. And he has a new prediction for this year. And, and millions of people, I mean, they must be out of their minds by his books. And every time he has been wrong, and, and he's made a laughing stock out of Bible prophecy. But the Holy Spirit wants to prepare our hearts because we're entering a new season. And he wants our hearts to be filled with the joy of the Lord, the peace of the Holy Spirit, and the promises of the Holy Spirit. And we're, we're not to be caught up in the spirit of fear that permeates our media and our culture. The Bible says, for God has not given us a spirit of fear but of power love and a sound mind now I have a new three DVD set called American dictatorship which deals with massive political changes happening in the United States coming up very soon and perhaps in your nation and of course in Europe and uh, nations throughout the world but I also talk about engaging in high-level spiritual warfare uh, which I don't believe the church has yet entered into that season, and we are in a new season. And 
the Joseph principle, how to practically prepare. And I'm not talking about going out in the middle of the desert in the Mojave in a camouflage motorhome, by the way. Um, that's fine if God has called you to do that, but that God hasn't called me to do that. And he hasn't called most of the people I know to do that. So our hearts are to be filled with the vision and purpose of the Lord. In Joel 2, God says, I will pour out my Holy Spirit in the last days. We're in the last days. The Holy Spirit has been poured out on the church since the day of Pentecost. And then as you continue reading that passage of Scripture, in Joel uh, chapter 2, um, and then it's cross-referenced to Acts chapter 2, we see that uh, God promises to pour out His Spirit in a very unique way uh, before the coming of the Lord. I'm Paul McGuire. I want to continue on on what the Holy Spirit wants to communicate to us in this brand new year.